another video. And today's video, I really, this is kind of a response video to one of Geekdom 101's videos. Uh, he just uploaded yesterday. It's called How Dragon Ball GT Can Fit Into Dragon Ball Super. Now I say kind of a response video because I don't necessarily disagree with anything Geekdom says. Uh, you know, he's probably more knowledgeable than most people, maybe even more than me. I mean, I did grow up with Dragon Ball Z. I watched like every episode like three or four times. But this guy does this like as his job basically now. So I'm not gonna pretend like I know more than him. Um, but this is really just, as you can tell by the title that I just said, this is just kind of a, a theory kind of discussion video. Um, now I watched his video and he, they basically, their whole idea of how Super Saiyan 4, how Dragon Ball GT could fit with Dragon Ball Super continuity wise. Now we're not talking about canon, I'm not gonna get the whole canon thing. Because everyone has, has their own ideas about canon, so there's no reason to talk about that, as he also covered on that video. And I'll have a link in the description below to his video, so you can check that out either before or after watching mine. So anyways, they had a discussion video where they were talking about it, and basically, the consensus was it was like a, 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 a dream. Um, if you want more details on that, watch his video, because I don't want to steal his thunder here. Watch his video on his ideas of it, but pretty much it was, uh, you know, long story short, it was a dream. Um, he did touch over what I'm about to say a little bit, but it was only like 30 seconds. I kind of glossed over it, so I didn't really like the idea. But I really think it's the most likely. And I think they want to keep Dragon Ball GT in the continuity eventually, because at the end of the day, Bandai Namco... Toei animation, all, all of them, you know, they want to sell toys, action figures, and the more forms, including Super Saiyan 4, that they can sell and keep legitimate, the better for their business. So I, I really think from that standpoint, plus Toriyama always said it, he always, uh, there's a misconception. He didn't actually design Super Saiyan 4. There's a huge misconception about that in the community. But he did always like the idea of Super Saiyan 4. So I think from that standpoint also, they're going to keep it in there. Now, how do I think it would happen eventually? Uh, like I said, Geekdom kind of, he touched over this a little bit in the video, but I think it's actually, the reason why I'm kind of calling it as a response, because I actually think it's the most likely, is they erase everything that happened, and uh, Super basically never happened. And the reason why I think that is, okay, how am I going to say this? So things keep on getting escalated more and more with the whole Zamasu thing, and now we have a, a tournament that's going to decide the stakes of all these universes, right? Things keep on going up and up, and it seems like Zeno keeps on getting more and more involved. And I think what's event I don't think it's going to happen during the tournament arc because I think they want to make Super last longer because it's selling well, right? But I think what's eventually going to happen is something's going to occur, and Zeno is going. Both of the Zenos are going to get bored. Right? They're going to get bored of governing over these universes, and they're going to want to just get rid of everything so that they can just play with each other, like the little kind of kids that they kind of are, and they're not going to want that responsibility anymore. And it's probably going to have something to do with Goku, right? Because Goku is the one who's kind of instigating this tournament. He's the one who Xeno wanted to try and be his friend before he found the other Xeno. Like, Goku seems to be kind of the unwitting instigator and all this bad stuff is kind of happening in Super with Zeno and the gods and everything. I mean, Beerus woke up because he wanted to find a Super Saiyan God, which Goku ended up becoming. I mean, yeah, that's that's kind of a logical fallacy because it wasn't necessarily Goku he was looking for, but still ended up being Goku. Is kind of my point, and he kind of still sticks around because of Goku um, and Bulma's food. But basically, I think what's going to happen is something really bad is going to happen, and either. They're going to find out about it, right, that's going to happen, and either they're going to use the Dragon Balls to reverse time, or maybe Whis has some more powerful reverse time stuff, or maybe all the angels will get together and use their little reverse thing to undo everything that happened, basically before Goku and Beerus met. But whatever happens, like Beerus will retain the memory so he won't go looking for Goku again, right? So we will go all the way back and none of this will have ever happened. And the main reason that I believe this will be the case, I don't know how it will happen, but I know something will happen where they will reverse time and all that will not have happened. 
And the main reason why I believe this is because if you watch Dragon Ball Z, which if you're interested in Super and you're watching this video, you probably did. The very last episode, we find out that there was a time skip between when they killed Boo, uh, Kid Boo, and when the tournament happened where Goku found Oob, um, which is after where Super's at right now. And there was, it, it was established right away by the narrator, there was nothing but peace in between that time. There was nothing but peace. It was an era of peace. Nothing happened. But a lot has happened in Super. A lot. Um, I mean, you could make the argument that, you know, Beerus ended up not actually doing anything to them. And then you've had two tournaments. This uh, other, this this uh, multiverse tournament is going to be the first one. Not the first one. The multiverse tournament is going to be the second one, and then you had the uh, the Beerus and Champa tournament, and then I think the only real big arc was Goku Black, but that was in Trunks' timeline. But still, there's a lot of stuff going on. Beerus threatened to destroy the world. Uh, the Universal Tournament, even though it's just a tournament, if they lose, will destroy their universe. So they're fighting for their universe right now. So you still you can't really make the point. You can't really make the case that that's an era of peace because there's a lot of stakes here in a couple of different situations. For their universe. Plus, even though the, their universe might have not been in danger, Goku and Vegeta were still involved in Trunks' deal with Goku Black and Zamasu. So, you know, it still wasn't peacetime for them. So you gotta think, somehow this is all gonna get... One of two things has to happen. So they either have to erase the continuity, right? And retcon the ending of Dragon Ball Z. Or something's going to happen that's pretty much going to wipe out everything that happened in Super. So what I think is going to happen is that's what's going to happen is they're going to they're going to erase everything that happened in Super somehow, some way, eventually. And then Goku is going to like wake up, whatever, and then it's going to all not have happened. And then eventually, you know, time will pass by after that, and maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, nothing will happen. And then it will have been just years of peace. And then GT will happen, and then blah, 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 blah. And that way it all happened. Now, to uh, Geekdom's point, I do like the idea of somehow bringing Super Saiyan 4 in in the continuity with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Like I said, he already covered how he thinks that could possibly happen. I'm not going to spoil all those ideas. You need to go watch his video. But it's very interesting, and I think it would be very cool to see Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan Blue versus Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I think that would be pretty awesome. Um, you know, it's not a bad idea, but I just think, I mean, I know Super hasn't been the best in, you know, continu for continuity's sake. They've kind of, they've kind of taken some liberties with uh, some established rules that we thought we knew. But if they want to stop that and they want to have the best continuity-wise, this would probably be the best bet. Um... But yeah, because it would fix some of the plot holes that currently we are complaining about. Anyways, let me uh, know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Solid Shepherd, and I should go.